Hello and welcome to The Old Flyers. In my last video, I spoke about how, in the early days of aviation, it was in France that the most progress was being made. Aeroplanes Voisin was a French aircraft manufacturing company established in 1905 by Gabriel Voisin and his brother Charles, just two years since the Wright brothers first controlled powered flight on December 17, 1903. That company was, in the English translation, Flying Machines of Voisin Brothers. Previously, Gabriel Voisin had been employed by Ernest Archdeacon to work on the construction of gliders before entering into a partnership with Louis Blériot. Following a disagreement, Gabriel Voisin bought out Blériot. The company, based in the Parisian suburb of Billancourt, was the first commercial aircraft factory in the world. It created the Voisin Farman 1, Europe's first manned heavier-than-air powered aircraft capable of a sustained circular controlled flight, including takeoff and landing. Charles Voisin taught friend Raymond de la Roche to fly and she became the first woman to receive a pilot's license when the Air Club de France issued her license number 36 on the 8th of March 1910. In South Africa, on the 28th of December 1909, French aviator Albert Kimmering made the first powered flight in Africa in a Voisin 1907 biplane. Like many early aircraft companies, Voisin built machines to the designs of their customers, which helped support their own experiments. The company's first customers included M. Florenzi, who commissioned them to build an ornithopter he had designed. They built a pusher biplane for Henry Katfuhrer, and it was he who introduced them to Leon de la Grange, for whom they built a similar machine. This was first successfully flown by Charles Voisin on the 30th of March 1907, achieving a straight line flight of 200 feet. In turn, de la Grange introduced them to Henry Farman, who ordered an identical aircraft. These two aircraft are often referred to by their owners' names as the Voisian de la Grange No. 1 and the Voisian Farmer No. 1 and were the foundation of the company's success. On the 13th of January 1908, Farman used his aircraft to win the Grand Prix de l'Aviation offered by Ernest Archdeacon and Henry Dusch de la Meurthe for the first closed circuit flight of over one kilometre and apologies to my French friends for my pronunciation. Since the Wright brothers would provide no evidence of their own accomplishments, they were widely disbelieved at the time, so this was a major breakthrough in the conquest of the air and brought Voisin many orders for similar aircraft. Around 60 would be built. Productions of the Voisin III Type LA and Type LAS increased with the outbreak of the First World War with examples being built under license in Italy, in Russia, and in the UK by Savages of King's Lynn, with production exceeding 1,350 airframes. Examples would also be used by the Belgian and Romanian air services, and a few even survived the war to be used in Ukraine and in Russia. Soon after the outbreak of the First World War, it became apparent that the French aviation industry could not produce aircraft in sufficient numbers to meet military requirements. Manufacturers from various other fields became aviation subcontractors and interlicensed builders, as did many smaller aircraft manufacturers who had been unable to secure orders for their own designs. By 1918, Voisin was involved with the Voisin La Fresne Company, a major constructor of airframes, and the Voisin Le Frebrine Company, a major builder of aircraft engines. After 1918, Gabriel Voisin abandoned the aviation industry in favour of automobile construction under the name Avians Voisin, trading until 1939. After World War II, the Voisin business was integrated into that of its principal creditor, engine supplier Gnome and Roan, which was in turn nationalised in 1945 to form the basis for what is now the state directed Smekma business. Charles Voisin died in a car accident in 1912. His passenger, 
Raymond de la Roche survived only to die in an aircraft crash in 1919. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and that will encourage new content.